We were surprised to hear today that it was the passengers of the Costa Concordia who called for help, not the captain or the crew, when the cruise ship collided with a reef and sank off the coast of Italy last Friday night. At least 11 people were killed, 21 are missing, including a retired couple from Minnesota. Alan Pizzi is at the scene. Rescue workers are concentrating on reaching an assembly point on the ship's fourth level that is considered the most likely place to find more bodies, but it's now under 60 feet of icy water. They're under pressure from predictions of bad weather and a plea from the mother of a missing five-year-old girl. Please keep searching for my child, Susie Albertini said on Italian TV. Don't stop. Bring her home to me. Today, a new audio recording surfaced that seems to show the decision to evacuate passengers was delayed by as much as an hour. Passengers had made calls to friends and family to tell them the ship had hit something. But when the Coast Guard called, they weren't told the whole story. Good evening, Costa Concordia, the Coast Guard says. Please, are you experiencing problems on board? We had a blackout, a crew member replies. We are checking conditions on board. But that call came more than half an hour after the ship had struck a reef. It took another half an hour before the order came to abandon ship. Now prosecutors want to interview Dominica Samorton, a Moldovan hostess who was seen dining with the captain when the ship foundered. What's still being called a rescue effort involves as many as nine different agencies, ranging from the Coast Guard to police authorities to cave and mountain rescue specialists. And it's on a scale unprecedented for such a tiny island. The overall commander is from the National Fire Service, and while this may look like lots of people milling about in stylish uniforms, it works. For example, Navy demolition divers blow an access hole in the hull, then cave rescue divers used to murky conditions find a cabin, so divers from a special police unit can drill into it and use their mini spy cameras. We all know each other, Chief Engineer Marco Trezza says, and who is specialized in what? so we know when to step back and hand over. And the searching will go on until all the bodies are found. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Giglio, Italy. Among the missing are Jerry and Barbara Heil of Minnesota. Last night, more than 400 people filled a church in their hometown, White Bear Lake, to pray for them. Rescue workers are telling Alan Pizzi that they've heard no signs of life aboard.